Radio Shouty. It was one question that I forgot to ask both of y'all the last time that y'all was in here, man. And it was a pivotal point in hip hop that both of y'all was a part of, man. Yeah. That goddamn Source Awards, man. Which one? The one in 95 where Dre snapped and Suge snapped and both of y'all was in the building for both of those situations and all hell was breaking loose. Yeah. What was going through y'all mind at that time? And did y'all feel like, you know what? This is about to change the trajectory of hip hop. This was like the second time I've been through that at the source was for the first time. Uh-huh. I just found a picture where Dr. Dre and Snoop didn't go, so they let me rage, RBX, and uh Corrupt go. Yeah. And they was booing us the first time. So I got up there and said, you know, fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> all that type of shit. And you know what I'm saying? So that that's what I remember. And then Tupac came out there and did his thing. Uh-huh. But I'm looking for that footage. I mean, who got the whole one? You know, they showing pieces and bits of it, but they not showing our part. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, it was get your knife, get your gun, you know. Hey, it was going down. It was going down at that time. Crazy. The the the, the, the tension in that room, I could just remember, it was almost like being on a prison yard. Because mm. everybody, because it was like that night, it was like everybody was in their own section. It was like the wood was about 100 deep behind us. Mm -hmm. The roads on this side, they were about 100 deep. Mm. Big of them, they was a few. There was a few of them. It was only six of us. We ain't even had no bodyguard with us. We were straight front line. And, and, and at the end of the day, once Dad's done perform, I had never seen nothing like that at that time. Mm. You know what I mean? Like when they started that show and they always in them cell blocks, dog. That was just the most that incredible. Was that was just the most incredible shit of all, of all time at that point. Mm. You know, like nobody beat they show that night. Mm. They had the best show that night. And I just feel like from that night, people don't really realize that that was the first time I think all of us was in the same room together. Mm. All of us yeah. at that time. Because I think all of us had dropped that our groundbreaking albums at that time. And I think that was the first time that we all sat in the room together and was able to sniff each other like dogs. Yeah. Like, and then we okay. went on our first promotional tour together. Yep. Yeah. Talk to me about that promotional tour, though, man. Because, I mean, y'all dropped them albums around the same time, yeah, too, yeah. though, man. So what was that like, being some young gunners coming into the game, soul food and dog food, about to tear some stains Ooh. up? Tell them, Gil. It was wild because it was the first time we got to L.A. And at that time, you know, rappers, I tell people this all the time, at that time, rappers didn't stay in Hollywood. You either stayed by the airport or you stayed in South Central. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. the first time we saw Dad, then we went, and it was like, yo, we going around and we doing the, the mom and pop stores. And y'all gonna one rap, stops. Y'all gonna rap rap y'all single in front of the stores. And that was the first time I saw Dog Pound perform. Whew. And as soon as they got up there, that's when I knew we was in LA. See, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's Radio shouting. Shout